Let me introduce the research being conducted in Molecular and Material Engineering course of the Graduate School of Science and Engineering at Kinda University. Let's check out the laboratory. Let's go! This is the laboratory of Organic Structural Chemistry and the Department of Applied Chemistry of the Faculty of Science and Engineering. What do you do study in this laboratory? Here, we are developing innovative luminescence materials that emit rotating light or circularly polarized luminescence CPL. These luminescent materials include a metal called iridium. With iridium luminescent materials, we can get various luminescent colors by adjusting the organic ligand of the complex. These iridium luminophores can emit red, green, blue, yellow CPL and magnetic fields. Development of OLEDs that emit CPL when electricity is passed through them. By incorporating iridium luminophores into a device, you can develop an OLED, organic light emitting diode, which glows when electricity is applied to it. By changing the luminescent material, various colors of light can be emitted. Furthermore, by using an optically active luminescent material as a light emitter, you can get a rotating light CPL. Development of luminescent materials that change color depending on their concentrations. The first step is to synthesize the target luminescent material by organic synthesis. The color of the luminescence changes with the concentration of the dissolved luminescent material. The twisting and overlapping of the luminescent material generates CPL. This is very useful because it is possible to get various colors with just a single type of compound. Now, let's take a look at the laboratory of bio-related organic chemistry. What do you do in this library? This is where we are developing peptide-based materials that can be used for medical treatment. Peptides are synthesized stepwise on a resin having the size of sand grains. The synthesized peptides are checked and identified using mass spectrometry. When the synthesized peptides are modified with a fluorescent dye, we can get fluorescent peptides. The fluorescent dyes are useful for checking whether the peptides have been delivered into the cells. This is the laboratory of organic material chemistry and the department of energy and material of the Faculty of Science and Engineering. What do you do study in this laboratory? We are developing materials with outstanding performance and new functions. Development of materials that change their luminescent color. This is a glow box where we handle materials that are unstable in water or air. Development of luminescent crystals. They are also developing shape changing crystals. The phenomena can be observed using a microscope. Here, we are developing functional inorganic materials by controlling their morphology and composition. A spark discharge on a metal plate creates an oxide film on the surface. 
by controlling the composition of the bath and the fabrication conditions. It is possible to grow thin films that have various functions on the surface. Here, researchers are trying to improve the fluorescence properties by synthesizing phosphor nanoparticles. It can also light in various colors by controlling the compositions including luminescent centers. The X-ray diffraction technique is used to check the production and crystal structure of a newly synthesized compound. This is because structural information is indispensable for understanding the functional properties of inorganic compounds. Here, we are studying the mechanism of surface enhanced wetness scattering. We construct simulation model of molecular absorbed metal clusters using computers. We can calculate and create a simulation model of a metal oxide cluster topped with various metal ions. Laboratory of Surface Design Chemistry Research on photocatalysts Detoxification of toxic substances and production of hydrogen by light Laboratory of Polymer Synthesis We are developing environmentally friendly synthesis of polymers using natural compounds and visible light. Reactions are conducted under irradiation with visible light. Plastic films are synthesized from naturally occurring milk nostrils. We evaluate the size of desynthesized macromolecules by size exclusion chromatography. How did you find the research at Kinder University? Hope something has caught your interest. Come and join us. Let's open the door to a new level of chemistry.